AWS Pinpoint is a service which you can use to engage with your customers across multiple messaging channels. You can use Amazon Pinpoint to send push notifications, in-app notifications, emails, text messages, voice messages, and also messages over custom channels. And it could be two-way communication. I was trying to configure AWS Pinpoint by using AWS Lambda to send custom messages to few of our users. While I was trying to do it, I wrote a Lambda by using Python's Photo 3 SDK and I put in the message in a JSON format in one of, in CSV format in the S3 bucket. So in order to retrieve that custom message, I was trying to import that into my as, uh, into my code so that I could process it and then send it across to the users. So the first task was to import that CSV from S3 bucket. While I was trying to do it in this code chunk, which is on your screen, and it's a simple create import job function from the pinpoint client. While I was doing it, I was receiving the error, which is shown from line number 13 to line number 20. And if you check this error, it is complaining about that the pinpoint is unable to perform the STS assume role. Now the role which was attached to this Lambda already had STS assume role as a trust relationship. So I was really confused what was going on. Um, I thought maybe I don't have S3 permission, so I gave it S3 permissions on that bucket, full permissions, but still the error was there. The problem here is that we need to create a trust relationship of pinpoint with the SDS and then attach that role to the Lambda. And how can we do that? For that, you need to go, you need to create another role with the custom trust policy as shown in this figure. So whenever you are using pinpoint and you want to access it through Lambda, you need to use custom trust policy. And in this custom trust policy, you need to specify service as on line number eight on this code editor, that the service or the principal will be service and the service is pinpoint dot amazon aws dot com and the action is sts as you wrote once you create this role get the arn or amazon resource number of this role and then go back to your code and replace it in line number six once you do that and run your lambda again you shouldn't be receiving this error i hope this was useful if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below the video. Thanks.